welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to take you through the Mon Guerlain perfume range. Um, if you're new here then welcome to my little perfume world on the internet. Uh, do subscribe for more range videos, perfume note videos and I am always doing requests so let me know if you do have any requests. And all the perfumes, all the variations of Mongolian, I'll link them down below in the description box so you can check them out. So let's get straight into it. So Mongolian has been out for a few years now and various flankers and versions have come out. So there's four in total that you can buy now, along with the body lotion and the shower gel. Angelina Jolie has been the face of the perfume since its launch in 2017 and continues to be on all their campaigns. So the, the note that sort of carries through all of the different versions is lavender and it's quite unusual these days to have lavender featured in a perfume, never mind it being the sort of star of the show, main note in a perfume. I think lavender kind of has um, a tendency to be associated with older fashioned perfumes, um, sort of an old lady type fragrance note, so it's pretty bold for Guerlain to put this out there. What I find maybe a bit odd about the whole range is that to me Angelina Jolie is very like fierce and sort of sharp and she's tattooed and she's you know action woman tomb raider and then this perfume is very like feminine-y um pretty uh traditional and to me the two the smell is not what I imagine Angelina Jolie smelling like but I guess that's kind of a side issue so along with the lavender in the original, you've got quite a lot of vanilla and quite a lot of tonka bean. So this is not a perfume for the faint hearted. When you first spray it, you know, you only really need one or two sprays and it's really quite strong. It lasts a good sort of three, four hours um, and then it becomes very sort of a skin scent. You have to really smell it on your skin to get it. Um, but it is really quite strong while it's lasting. There's a woody base and a bit of patchouli and there's also a licorice note in here. Now it's not massively strong, it doesn't dominate, but I know that licorice really is a bit of a Marmite fragrance. Some people really dislike it. And if you are one of those people, you probably will be able to tell that licorice is in here. So with that sort of sweet, warm, lavendery note, it is very feminine. It really reminds me of um, a sort of homely, motherly, um, perhaps like south of France, surrounded by lavender fields type fragrance. Um, not one for the faint hearted, but it's not um, overly sweet. And I wouldn't say it was a particularly like sensual or sexy fragrance. I would say it was more like a feminine and womanly fragrance. So they then release the Eau de Toilette version, which has the tonka bean taken out. So it's all about the vanilla and the lavender. Um, it's relatively similar, except obviously a bit sort of weaker and um, less intense than the Eau de Parfum. So if you want that lavender and vanilla, but the Eau de Parfum is too much, then the Eau de Toilette is a good option for you. They've added in some caramel notes, which makes this a little bit sweeter um, and warmer than the original and works with that vanilla to sort of bring it out so the lavender isn't so strong compared to the other eau de parfum. So in 2018 they brought out Mongolian Floral and as you would expect this has quite a few floral notes added. The tonka bean has been taken away again um, which takes away from the heaviness that's in the original eau de parfum. The vanilla and the lavender remain, which makes it really quite similar to the Eau de Parfum and the Eau de Toilette. But then those floral notes do come through. There's a bit of sort of iris, generic like floraliness. I would say that this is kind of like in between the Eau de Toilette and the Eau de Parfum. Like it's stronger and more floral than the Eau de Toilette, but it's not as deep and intense as the Eau de Parfum. They've also put in a lot of citrus notes, lemon orange, limey, bergamot tea, which come through in the initial spray, which aren't in the original. The original just goes straight into those intense notes. So I think with floral, you could be fooled in the initial few seconds that this is a really fresh, light one. It isn't, it is still vanilla lavender that still comes through, but those initial citrus notes could take over, um, but they die down relatively quickly. So in 2019, they have just released a Mongolian Bloom of Rose. Now to me, this is really quite different to the previous three and it's definitely my favorite from the collection. It's much fresher, younger, 
I think a more modern scent and it's probably a bit more like girly and innocent than the depth of the other ones. So the citrus notes are back but they actually really carry through because they've added in some neroli in there as well so the citrus does remain in the fragrance longer than the first few seconds. And then the next thing you get is kind of like a fresh rosiness and then you get the lavender and then you get the vanilla so it isn't as dominant the lavender and the villa vanilla as it is in the other fragrances they're more there as a sort of under base note as a sort of nod and a hint to the original but the rose and the citrus are really the stars of the show I think if you were getting this fragrance as a gift this would be the best one to get because I think it's the safest you know the lavender could be a bit like controversial not everyone likes it I think this fragrance is hard to dislike bloom of rose is much more I guess it's more mainstream and generic but it is very pretty it's very feminine um it's a little bit more simpler than the others but definitely um lovely it's coming out spring summertime like a really nice fresh summer fragrance English country garden feminine smell if you're a fan of the Mongolian range then I definitely recommend getting the shower gel and the body lotion that could really help layer the fragrance you could even use them plus the eau de toilette rather than getting the full eau de parfum and they also have like massive 250 ml bottles that you can get from Guerlain in the traditional Guerlain packaging as well for those who are super fans of this fragrance. So let me know if you wear any of these, what you think of the different flankers, I'd love to know your thoughts. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you found it useful, helpful, and do subscribe for more of the same. But that's it, so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye!